beloved, I welcome you once again to the Way of Salvation program. And I believe you are learning something. Your mind is being opened by the words you are hearing on this channel. So we thank God as we continue to learn about demons and unbelief. I've been sharing about the things demons are causing human beings to disbelieve although they themselves believe the spiritual things about God because they don't want human beings to believe the truth and, and forsake their demonic ways and be with God that is why they are causing human beings to dwell in unbelief that is why I said unbelief is a state of demonic mind that no human being should be in. They, they use unbelief to cheat human beings. So I've been dealing with some of the things they cause human beings to disbelieve. Uh, last time I was talking about the fact that some people say they don't believe in miracles. And I said, if God does not change, and if we are serving the same God Almighty who changes not, then miracles that He performed in the Bible, He can still do them, He can still perform them today. So don't say you don't believe. And I've been saying all the time the fact that you say you don't believe in something will not change it, it will still be the truth. Your, your unbelief cannot change the fact. So you better change your opinion and align yourself with the truth. That is how it should be. I am a testimony of God's living miracles. I see power. I see the miracles of God every day. So let's learn more today as we look at some of the things that demons tell people not to believe. I want us to look at demons and divine healing. Divine healing. Many people say they don't believe in divine healing. And again, that is the work of demons. That is the work of demons. Because some say they believe in orthodox medicine, traditional medicine, or herbal medicine. That is what some people believe in. But if those people are not Christians, I will have no problems with them. If they are not Christians, I will have no problems with them because believing something of faith is a choice. You can choose not to believe but in the end, it will cost they themselves their lives. So it is better you believe the truth. But if they are not Christians and they choose not to believe, I don't have any problem with them. But my problem is with those who call themselves Christians. If you call yourself a Christian and you say you don't believe in divine healing, you are, you are doing something serious. What are you doing that is serious? You are belittling God. You are making God small. Like I asked earlier, God does not change. Does God change? No, He doesn't. So if He does not change, and He was the same God who was healing people in the days of the Old Testament, He still does the same today. So it is wrong to say you don't believe. It is better to say it this way. I don't see God's healing of old today. The healings of old, I don't see them happening today. Then you ask yourself, why is it so? If you speak like that, you will not be at fault. But if you say you don't believe, it will, it will be different from not seeing them. So if your problem is not believing that God can still heal, then demons have taken over your mind, causing you not to believe in almighty God who does not change 
And that is what I'm saying that as I expose demons on this channel, try and, and move away from that state of mind because you are under the control of demons. So before I proceed, would you agree with me as we read something from the Word of God? To address my point. Exodus chapter 15. And I read from verse 26. This is God speaking here. Almighty God himself speaking through Moses. This is what he said. And said, If you diligently heed, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is written in his sight and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians. Listen to this important point. For I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. For I am the Lord who heals you. Another translation says, I am the Lord your healer. Hallelujah. This scripture portrays God as the healer of his people. If you believe in God and you don't believe that he can heal you, you have a serious problem. You have a serious problem. Demons are in control of your mind. Believing God is a total package. If you believe that God exists, then add it to your belief that He can do everything. That is why in action power, our watchword, our motto that God has let me tell and dwell on it for over three decades is that with God, all things are possible. When you say that word, you remember human power. Because that is what I say. I have a radio program and when I sign off, that is what I say all the time. Why do I say that? I believe as God's servant that God is never limited in any way in the affairs of his creation. Whatever you see in this world, came from the mouth of God. So God heals his people through his word. He said, I send my word to heal your disease. God uses this word, either the written word or the rima, either the logos or the rima. He uses his written or spoken word to heal everyone who believes him. So if you believe in God, never say you don't believe that he can, he can heal your disease. That is very sad. You believe in his existence. You believe that he created animals. If a, if a, if a lion, I, I always say it this way, if a lion pops up in your house, you will not see how you will jump your walls and run away for your life. Because you dread seeing that animal called lion. Do you know how that, that, that animal came into existence? God spoke and it came. People are afraid of Lucifer and his demons. But all of them are the work of God's hands. It is God who created them. So I don't see why you can say you believe in the existence of God. But not believe in what he can do. He can heal you with his word. What can he do to heal you? When there is a sickness, God can open his mouth and say, Be healed. Let the sickness go away. The sickness will vanish. On hearing the voice of God, the sickness can vanish. So it is wrong for a believer to say, You don't believe in divine healing. Listen, tra uh, uh, traditional medicine or orthodox medicine is man made. When God created Adam and Eve in the garden, he, he created them with his image. There was no way those two people were going to be sick. They would not be ill or be sick from any virus 
No way. You see, diseases and sickness comes when you go away from God and don't live uprightly. That is how some diseases can affect you. That is why he said, if you hearken to the words I say, if you listen to my words, then I will not put none of the diseases I put on the Egyptians. He's talking about those days when God was telling Pharaoh to let his people Israel leave Egypt. You saw that the disease he put boils on them, on their bodies and those things. God could do that and he can still do that. That's what he was talking about in Exodus chapter 15. That if you listen to me, I will let disease go away from you. You see, that is why he has constantly said in his word that those who believe in him, signs can follow us. That if you think we drink deadly poison, it will not harm us. Why? It's word. If his word stays in you, the poison cannot kill you. God does not lie. I don't say intentionally go and drink poison. That will be testing God. I don't say that. But if you unknowingly drink poison, the word of God can heal you. He is still the healer. I am serving God who is the healer. If you are a pastor and you believe in a church that says they don't believe in divine healing, I'm very sorry for you. This is a sinful church. Leave and go to another place. Why is it a sinful church? This church has limited God. This church has said God cannot heal anybody. And you are making God a liar for saying he is the healer. That is why it is a sinful church. So never live in a church that says we don't believe in divine healing. Divine healing is still around. Some people also say that they only believe in the orthodox medicine. I said that is human being. Human being. And my, I want to ask you a question. Don't you know demons can help human beings to be pharmacists? Don't you know that there are some pharmacists who manufacture medicine for people to take them to heal their diseases? Don't you know that some of them also consult demons in order to be successful in their business? Some people say they also believe in herbal medicine. Herbal medicine, whatever form of medicine that you can see on the market today is human or man-made. That is man-made. So it is very sad that you can place your faith in the man-made medicine but come to dispute God's divine healing. Oh, it is very sad. I believe that this channel is bringing some thoughts. It's opening your mind. I, I, I preach thought-provoking messages. I want, to, I want you to sit up and ask yourself that, that why am I not seeing divine healing? The answer is still in the series of how demons operate that I'm preaching through this channel. The answer is still here. I always say that it is because of the man of God who is not anointed by the Holy Spirit to operate in the same the servants in the Bible operated. If God called him and truly his divine hand is upon you, he will let you operate in the same way as Paul operated. He will let you operate in the same way as, as Elijah operated, as Elisha operated. All of them were miracles. All of them. Elisha even healed a salty water. He healed salty water. You see, if he's the same God, it is very sad that you will not believe in him, but put your faith in man-made medicine. In Christianity, I'm telling you the truth. The truth is that we should believe first in divine healing, not in orthodox medicinal healing. Not in that one. There is a funny saying. Some people say, if you are sick, go to hospital. Why is it that some people, when they are sick, the first place they want to go to is that they want to go to church. What can the pastor do for you? <laughs> you know, when people speak like that, they are speaking like that because they speak out of ignorance. They don't know what my God can do. These are the people who don't believe the words 
my God speaks. They don't believe in that. So they think the first place to go as a sickler is to go to hospital. Fine, that is his faith. But I tell my church people that if you are sick and you believe in my God that he can heal you, if even you are dying, let them carry you into the church and you will see the touch of my father. Many of my church people can testify that I've prayed for many sick people who were at the verge of death and God healed them. The latest one was a woman who was given two weeks to die but God tied her and she's still living. It's over two years now she's still living. You see, it, it, it could be more than that. I've lost the count of the years but the woman is still alive. What I'm saying is that God is still in the business of healing his people. So believe in God. We first have to believe in God, not in man-made medicine. So it is wrong. I believe it should be the reverse. When you are sick, first you have to come to God to heal you if you believe in him. And where doctors have tried and they couldn't succeed, that is where someone needs to come to God for divine healing. Divine healing shouldn't come last. Shouldn't come last. I think it should be the first place. Where should go to? But now they go to Mambe Hospital first. And when the, the doctors have given up, then they say take him to uh, well, they take him to church. And when the pastor cannot do anything, they say take him to hospital. It's wrong. Some of them even do it wrongly. Huh? Some of them go to hospital and they say, now and the doctor says he doesn't know what is wrong, so take him to church. You see, what I'm talking about is that I've, I always put it this way. This is my way. Where medical science fails, that is where spiritual science begins. Where medical science fails, that is where spiritual science begins. You see, so believe in that and you will never, never say God does not heal. This is demon. Another set of people say they believe in herbal medicine. These are the traditional ones who say they believe in African herbs or some herbs or herbal medicines. It's all over the world. Let me ask you a question. I heard a man talking. He's a, he's a dealer in herbal medicine. I don't know whether he calls himself a herbal doctor or whatever. He said that when you are sick, come to me. Don't go to any pastor. No pastor can heal you. God said we should eat the vegetables and use the herbs as medicine. There's no way in the Bible like that. You see, God says he's the healer. He only gave them the plants for food. That's all. So don't go to any uh, doctor uh, or uh, pastor. Come to me and I'll heal you. That is a lie. He's trying to say God cannot heal. My question is this. You believe that the herbs from a tree that God Almighty created, that one can heal you, but not the one who created the tree itself. What a ridiculous thing you are telling me. Huh? God Almighty cannot heal, but the herbal medicine has power in it. If even the demonic power behind the herbs Compare the demonic power to God's power. Which one is the most powerful? Which one? So it's wrong. It's demons that have held the mentality of people and they are deceiving us. So my question is this. If you say you are a Christian, who, who, whom do you believe? As Isaiah said, whose report will you believe? I am reporting God Almighty who can heal. Doctors say they can also heal you from cancer. Don't you say they say there's no uh, a cure for cancer. But my God can heal cancer. My God can heal HIV. My God can remove that virus. You see? So if you are sick and you are hearing me, I tell you, let your faith pop up and believe in God Almighty's word that he has written. That God is still the healer and he can heal you from every disease in Jesus' name. Believe God Almighty. That is what I'm sharing. Demons are, are cheating people, making God small, making God a liar. But if you truly know that God does not change, you will not say, I, I, I don't believe in divine healing, but I believe 
in, in, in herbal medicine. When, when I'm sick, uh, I take those uh, herbal medicine and I'm here. I feel better than prayer. Oh! If you speak like it, like this, oh my dear, you, you have sinned. You don't have faith. You know, when people have no faith, they speak out of fear. And fear is insecurity. That is why God said, if you come to him, you must trust him that he can heal you. So, please, believe in God. Eh? He is still about healing people. He has not changed. And he will not change. And he does not change. So, believe him. He heals. And he can heal you. Come to Ashim Power. If you, if you, if you want to see that God still heals. I always say, come. Come to Ashim Power. And he says, if you are uh, burdened and a heavenly lady, come to me and I will give you rest. You will come and see that God will have mercy on you and heal you. Don't let, don't let demons cheat you to dwell in unbelief to say that I don't believe in divine healing. God still heals. May God bless you as he opens your mind to let your faith pop up. I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have been enlightened. To hear more, you may subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to see more videos. Pastor Kukudatsi has written a very informative book called How Demons Operate. Grab yourself a copy to know how they operate and know how to liberate yourself from demonic oppression. To stay in contact with us, you can reach us through these details. God bless you.